Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about three different flavors of belt sanders and some of the deceptively uh, dangerous aspects of them. One of them, as you can see, this gouge right there. If you ever get one of those in your belt sander, you really need to replace the belt right away. Don't try to continue to use the area around it or anything like that. Because what happens is inevitably you're going to hit that hole when you're trying to grind a little piece like this and it's going to grab it rip the stock out of your hand and throw it against, break your car window or whatnot, or hit somebody in the face. Uh, the other thing is, oftentimes there's a stop or a guard right here that I'll simulate with this block of wood that sits just above the sandpaper. And when you're sanding, that's a, a pinch point that can suck your finger in there and sand it down to the bone in no time and cause uh, serious damage. One thing I do on all of my stationary tools is I put a electrical socket on them so that way you can plug other tools in without having to crawl back to the wall or get on the floor. Now, when I said to remove these belts immediately, um, definitely do that, but don't throw the belts away because they can still be used. Um, and I'll show you how. We move on to the the stationary um, strip sander. That uh, this one is homemade. I bought it from a uh, farmer and his cow, and they did a uh, excellent uh, job of craftsmanship on it. It uh, just it's spring loaded and, it, and it's balanced perfectly, so you don't have to track the blade. And it features a two position on and off switch, which I use about the same amount of time. Um, but what I was going to say about um, using your torn belt sander blades is you can do this. So it's got a tear in it. You can rip that. It rips very cleanly, as you can see. And now you have a strip sanding belt. You can make maybe five of them from that bad belt. Um, but to, in order to do that, I had a little problem. This, this sander here, well, for one thing, it had a plywood pulley that was uh, disintegrated, so I need to replace that. So what I did was I took a um, V-belt pulley and a piece of uh, V-belt, put it on there, cut it to the right length, and glued it on with a JB weld, which is basically a two-part epoxy. And then I filed it down so it's nice and smooth. And I was very skeptical, but it's been running fine for at least six years and uh, there this is often used for sharpening your knife or your other tools and again there is a, a pinch point here you don't want to be having your working with a real sharp knife and at the same time get your fingers sucked in there and chewed up so the third sander is a handheld belt sander like so and again talking about pinch points um, I'll never forget in a uh, high school teacher was telling of a person that unfortunately was wearing baggy overalls as you can imagine that's uh, just under under the belt there and he got his overalls um, pulled into this machine in addition to his anatomy and um, He's probably not seeing base anymore. So I hope this will keep people safe, and I hope you've uh, enjoyed the tips. Thank you.